Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <sighs> There you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. <sighs> Vinny? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. Way to go, bud. You're doing a great job. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Just calm down, Mr. Walker. They're rewriting us all. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Just calm down, Mr. Walker. Way to go, bud. You're doing a great job. is happening to me. Hi, yes. I'm calling for the results of those neuropsychological tests. I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disorganized. Let's try clozapine for a while. According to the evaluation, he had a People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. We'll take regular samples. Assuming he stays the course, we'll try to restart his therapy. Okay, so let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower, but that don't mean nothing. Is it morning already? I think he's the one. But I already had a nap. The eyes are too close to Tony, please, tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. Lima beans are spies. Fuck me. All right, so let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of place. Right. He calls it a mansion. But from the description, it sounded more like a penthouse. He said him and his... How are you today, Jackie? You should really remember to take your medication. Oh, I can tell you missed bath time again this week, Jackie. Bye-bye now. Come on, Jackie. Dr. James is waiting for you. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. Jimmy! Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. 
Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset. But I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. Let go oh, of me! God. Come on. You were doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Jackie! Get back here, Jackie! People. Head for the bunker! Tell he must Eva I've been late! Slow! Down! He's running for the door! Jackie, get back Boy, here! This way. There's nothing out there for you!
See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands is not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? Uh, what if she isn't even real? Mm? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. Jackie. Hey, Jackie. And hey, look, boss. Once you got popped, we got the rest of those fucking guys out of here before they could drag you off, but we lost a lot of good guys. Eddie, you gotta know I'm sorry. Uh, it shouldn't have gone down like this, boss. We didn't do nothing. He was gonna start taking it easy, spend more time on that stupid boat of his. <laughs> Just ain't right. I'm gonna find those assholes, and I'm gonna kill every one of them. You better. 
I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boss. I, I don't mean no disrespect. I just... He was gonna start taking it easy, you know? I know, Eddie. I'm sorry. Give my best to your wife, all right? This one time I went with Frankie to that strip club, the pig pen, right? So he uh, picks up one of the girls, he takes her into the bathroom stall. Yeah, he's fooling around, he's finger blasting and things like that, and some guy starts knocking on the door. So Frankie's like, oh, jerk off, I'm, I'm busy in here, and the guy keeps knocking on the stall. So finally Frankie opens the door, he's like, oh, what the fuck? See ya, Jackie. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Be well, sir. Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? So, uh, that was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. Say hi to everyone. Jackie, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, they are gonna pay. And are looking into whether the blades may have been caused by a faulty generator they have been using. Okay. Let's get a this. Jesus Christ, Jackie? You go pay your respects now, Jackie. Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Just give me a minute, all right? Sure thing. As soon as you're ready, we're out of here. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny, and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did.
Jackie. None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Come on, Jackie, let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. Little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk. You know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you, know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Let's go up. People are gonna be glad to see you back in one piece, boss. I tell you, it wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. Sorry for your loss, Jack. So then, some crazy fucking Lord of the Rings and SWAT gear looking motherfucker tries to drag Jack you off, right? After shooting him in the face. Pushed them back, and we sent them back. Yeah, well, we never would have made that last push if Jackie didn't pick out so many of those fucking guys. What the hell happened with Jackie? Holy shit, it's Jackie. I can't believe you're back. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny wasn't buried here too, you know. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. 
Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you... Get out of here! Someone get over here, quick! What the fuck? What? That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders?